106.7 Light FM, Cubby along with Christine, our hope for the holidays radio thought in full effect. And we have a wonderful guest right now, Tracy Ann. She came to Hastonfield Children's Hospital in New York City from Jamaica, and not Jamaica, Queens, Jamaica, mm -hmm. with Grace, her 17-month-old daughter. Now, while here, doctors have treated Grace for uncontrollable seizures and diagnosed her with Drive syndrome. Is that how you say it? Yes, Drave syndrome. Well, welcome, uh, Tracy Ann. It's an honor to have you here. And New York is a long way from Jamaica. What was happening with Grace that made you come to Hassanfield Children's Hospital? Okay, so back in Jamaica, uh, Grace started having seizures as early as three weeks old. Uh, the doctors there, they didn't know what was happening because she had a high fever. And um, they gave her they gave her a medication and sent her home. But a week after, she started having multiple seizures again. I took her back to the the hospital, and she was there um, for two weeks. They released her, and the seizures just coming back from there. Each time I go to the hospital, they'll treat her with uh, medication. And as soon as the, the seizure stop, they'll send her home. But they said that this must be something wrong. So they, they asked me to do a lot of uh, different tests such as um, brain scan, uh, brain ultrasound, uh, a lot of blood tests were done and they weren't able to come up with a root cause. And so they said that this thing must be genetic and I should get genetic testing. While searching around in Jamaica for places that do genetic testing, I found out that it wasn't available in Jamaica. And so the next step was to take her overseas. And so I contact a friend here and they uh, look around, call around hospitals and they found that uh, the Hassenfeld Children's Hospital, uh, they do international services. Uh, so they take patients from, over, from different countries in the hospital. And so I was able to uh, send a report and all the notes that the doctor have from Jamaica, they reviewed it and sent me back a letter to say that they act her and they will try and um, treat her. And so we took it from there um, and we came here. Wow. Tracy, and that's, a, that's a, a lot to go through, a lot that you both were dealing with your entire family and I'm sure um, scary at the time, but, but how is Grace, how is she doing now? Grace is doing wonderful. Um, I mean, she went to, she went through two surgeries. Um, so while at the hospital, she developed, um, seizures and uh, they tested her because she was getting real sick. So while waiting on the genetic testing to come back, she got real sick and they found that she, a part of her small intestine was perforated. Mm -hmm. And so they had to do surgery right away to cut it and then put it back together. She recuperated from that um, nicely with a little challenge, with some challenges, of course, she got ill uh, because of a bacteria, um, which was told to me that that can happen based on the surgery, the nature of the surgery, because we're dealing with um, the intestines. And so they treated her for that. She was on multiple antibi antibiotics and um, she got through that fine. She was improving and they were going to send her to a rehab facility because Grace can't walk. She can't talk. She, uh, she don't roll over, she don't sit up. The only thing she do is move her hands and her feet. She hears you and look at you um, when you speak to her and she will hold on to your fingers um, and maybe some toys. 
um, but that's about it. So they were going to send her to do um, therapy, speech therapy, uh, physiotherapy, all the therapies to help her um, to develop because she started regressing. So she don't do normal thing at, um, as any child would do at her age. And so she got sick again from another surgery, which they had to open back their first um, wound and put a G-tube, that is a feeding tube in her tummy because um, they said that the, the facility won't accept her without that. So she can get her medications on time and, uh, and also, also her, her food on time because the, the Javi syndrome, if you don't take the med medications on time, it can cause the seizures to act up again. And we clearly don't want that. And so she got ill um, and about two days later, she started recovering af after the doctors um, gave her um, multiple antibiotics again. And she's doing nicely now. Um, she's kind of sitting up for like uh, 45 seconds. She couldn't sit up any at all on her own. She's sitting up about 45 seconds now. Um, she's really moving more. She's trying to vocalize now. And th that was because of the different interventions that was done at, while she was here at the Ascentfell uh, Children's Hospital. Well, one thing is for sure, you need a lot of support and you get that at Hassenfeld Children's Hospital, not only for your beautiful daughter, but you need the support too. It, like, give us an example of how the team at Hassenfeld has kind of been your back, you know, your backbone uh, and supported you. Oh, wow. It was so overwhelming. It was so different. It was so refreshing. The team, they always come in and ask how you are doing from the nurses to the doctors. They greet you with a smile. They ask how they can help you. How are you feeling? You know, just to give a little give you a little chance to breathe and to express yourself, you know, um, while waiting on your child to recuperate or to recover. And um, they implement a lot of different activities, not only for the child, but for the parents. I mean, music therapy, we um, do music um, once a week, right? Sometimes we make up our own music, depending on what is happening on that day or how you're we feeling. So we make up a lot of music and me being that type of person, I always make up stuff. Um, I'm, a, I'm an early childhood teacher back home and, Making up stuff on the spot is just what I do. And that was lovely. It was bringing back some uh, memories and all of that. And it was helping me to, you know, to, re to lose some of those anxieties and what I was feeling and to just feel refreshed. Everybody knows that music is very wonderful in healing. Um, they carried a dog in so Grace could look at the dog and they talked, um, I showed her the dog and they talk about the dog and what he could do. He did a little um, trick and so on. Um, they also do painting, painting. So Grace have some footprints there, uh, uh, fingerprints and all of those stuff. Um, they, they, um, frame them for me that I can have them even after I leave. And it's very beautiful to take pictures and they print them for me. And so I'm compiling a collage of things that I, I did really at this hospital. It's so amazing. The ambience, the colors, where it is at. I mean, you're looking out, you're seeing the river, you're seeing the boat, you're seeing helicopters, you're seeing plane landing on the water, flying off. It just takes your mind off all you're going through and just give you a sense of relief, a sense of, you know, it's very captivating. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it at Hassanfield Children's Hospital. Oh, I'm so, so happy that you have this support on the, on the road to healing for you, for Grace. For our friends who are listening, why, why should we donate now to Hassanfield Children's Hospital? I mean, donating is it's a part of showing kindness. 
uh, that kind act and it is helping you to touch someone's life. You know, it's helping you to touch someone's life um, monetarily, um, to help them to cope and to going, um, help them go, um, go through, you know, what they're going through. It's not easy mm -hmm. as a parent. I, I am different really because I, I always gather strength from different things around me, but other parents, it's not so for them. And so we also have parents group that encourage each other. And these groups, you know, when the persons come in to, to talk to the parents and the pastors and the, the persons from uh, child life, I mean, they are really working hard and helping us and they need to pay as well. And so this funding, when persons donate, it will also help them, you know, to, to earn um, while you are helping others to get a chance at, at life, to, to live. I mean, that's a beautiful thing when you can help someone in that kind of way and put a smile on families' faces because when your child gets better, I mean, you feel good. You, 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 you feel like you are on top of the world. That sense of sadness, that sense of grief, it just, it just leave you. And the people who donate are such beautiful persons. They are such considering persons. And I hope persons listening can donate to this hospital because it's doing a very, very good job. We're helping families get through the, some most difficult times cope and um and get stronger um anyone out there listening please donate to the Hassenfeld children's hospital your your donations are really really um greatly appreciated and it will be put to great use tracy ann very well spoken and you've had an incredible journey we're so happy that uh, little Grace has received the care she needs. And uh, let's make sure every child gets the care they need at Hassenfeld Children's Hospital. Uh, call 1-800-222-1067 right now and become a bright light. Tracy Ann Ricketts, we love you and wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much. Love you Thank too, you. guys. Thank you. All the best to you and Grace and your family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. You're awesome. Wow. Thank that was you. beautiful, Tracy. And really, like, very touching. And our thoughts and prayers with your daughter. You know. The, yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Feel. I I think I have that support from um, church, different church persons who don't know me, but they meet me for the first time and I share my situation. They want to pray and they get involved. So um, I am that person who is just that person who loves to share and love to edu educate others any way I can. And so um, a lot of persons gravitate towards me and um, we, we are able to share and to connect and to uh, just help each other. Um, yeah, you're helping a lot, of, a lot of people this way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you again. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Tracy Ann. It was really moving. Have a great day, everybody. Okay, thank, thank you guys. You. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. One hundred six point seven FM.